Agreed. Agreed. So. Oh, I could take the big flash off. Then I can't bounce things. All right, friends. Here we are at our lovely suite at the Fister Hotel in Milwaukee. And uh, now we're just going to roam around the hotel for a little bit uh, with our EMF meter. Allison can show. There we go. Uh, see right now to the baseline. And uh, we are going to we get a reading. We're going to take some shots, see what happens. Scott has that excellent camera. And then uh, any place we're going to read, we're going to take some pictures and see if we can get some weird shit to happen. That's what we're going for tonight, weird shit at the Fister. Um, so we'll take a look, see what happens, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. And here is the beautiful lobby and foyer of the Fister Hotel. It certainly is gorgeous. There's someone, paying, there's someone playing piano downstairs at the restaurant. And uh, here's the hallway, so here's our room, that's where we're staying, that's 210. And this is our view from the front. I saw a man sitting at this table right over here before. He was, uh, he actually had the sweater on, you know, like the sweatshirt over and tied and stuff. So he really looked like a rich douchebag, it was awesome. Okay, we'll be back. Ooh, if I see two twins coming down the corner, I'm gonna run for cover. <laughs> okay. This is the eighth floor where they're gonna give them the poking test. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. So uh, this is the eighth floor where there has been rumored to be a supernatural activity here. Now, didn't you say the reports on the eighth floor, Allison? Yeah. It says supernatural activity. You go around the corner and there's Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> that's my kind of supernatural activity. So anyway, here is, that's kind of, I don't know, it's got nice stripes like a pinstripe. Floor eight. Okay, we'll keep you updated. It's very cool. Yes. Totally got to chill. No, it's still here though. Something is tripping the EMF meter. I think it's natural. Or okay, natural. electrical. Well, what would be electrical right here? No. We are on the seventh floor. This is the conference level of the Fister. This is the... Uh, the door. So, there's some electromagnetic failed here. It's increasing right in this area. Here, right, we're at the uh, Roosevelt Room. And we're going to keep taking a look around. Totally had a chill, though. I know that's all, you know, mind over matter or psychosomatic stuff, but it's still pretty freaky. Oh, Okay, so there's something that creates electromagnetic field. I'm turning the night shot on because it's hard to get the light in here. It's a very low light. Okay, okay. Let's, what I think we should do is we should probably walk around. By electrical. I'm not exactly sure, but it's, as you can see, the closer you get to the floor, the redder this one gets, so it's definitely something coming from the floor. Okay. A little bit. Is he recording now? He is recording now. Okay. Let's go back and check the camera. 
Yeah. That was weird. I had it on record the whole time we were in there. Well, this is the grand ballroom. Okay, I can see you. No, I can't. I can't see anything. Get that on Okay, this is room 1008. This is where some activity happened. I don't hear anything now, though. This is the 10th floor of the Fister. We're roaming around. We haven't seen anything weird. The ballroom was pretty scary. That was, the best, that was the best scare I had yet. I had a couple of chills inside that grand ballroom. And I know that doesn't mean anything, but I at least got the blood flowing and the adrenaline pumping. And that's oh, why we do this shit. There's also high EMF. There's also high EMF um, in certain areas that we think is due to just the electrical and how it's set up. But that can induce a fear response and give you chills. A high EMF can? Yes. Like just electromagnetic? Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and it can even make you hallucinate. Well, it can make me hallucinate. It could. Awesome. Yes. You mean so instead of taking acid, I can just walk next to a light bulb and just put my faith in it? Should I eat the light bulb? <laughs> yes, eating a light bulb is very effective. What makes you feel claustrophobic, Scott? Claustrophobia. Oh, I just met a very suspicious Serbian woman in LA. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She was a sweetheart. She was a sweetheart. And now we are here in uh, the 19th floor, and uh, this is the floor where That's, the, uh, this is the floor where the guy jumped off of. Crawled. So, crawled off of. So if there's any uh, restless spirits, uh, this would be a good place for it. Now the first thing is. If you look at this light bulb, it looks like there's a couple of weird things. I know that doesn't mean anything, it's just spooky. And this is... on the PKA meter, so. So it looks like no dice tonight, but we'll keep looking around and let you know. I hate this. Let's look, do you see any ghosts in the reflection? Oh yeah. What's I that? see angel boobs. I just see chandeliers in the reflection. That's really kind of messed up. Let's try the infrared. Oh, Anybody coming to say hi? Keep looking around. That is blinking, my friends. What is? And I'm gonna see what it's blinking. What's that thing. Oh. It's reflecting off of something. I mean, I know I know the crystal business, but this is one of the places where Charles Fister is sited. Yes. In the Imperial Bar, he is yes. supposed to be in the. Uh, there's a minstrel's gallery above the floor. He's seen to walk across. Huh. Well, that sounds exciting. We'll, we'll have to see tomorrow. if Peter can take us there yeah, tomorrow. He took, he took me earlier. All right, well, we'll be back, Imperial Ballroom. We'll be back. Now, we're looking through a window right now, so if you see any 
Oh Jesus, Scott, you moved behind me, and that, I like saw that in the mirror. That tear the shit out of me. I'm like, no, nah, Charles is there. It's a lie. Okay, so we're looking at the Imperial Ballroom, seeing if Charles is gonna walk in, say something. Wait, let me see. Yeah, so the stuff you see in front of the screen, I'm, I'm shooting through a window, so uh, it's not any magical orbs, uh, but there are... It's fingerprints on the window. Yeah, but there are two little orbs right there. Yeah, that's your infrared. That, yeah, that's my camera, I know. I'm just having fun with it. So, let me take a still picture. It turned off again as soon as I entered the room. Yeah, and then I returned it back on. Yeah, let's do it again. I wonder if it's affected by the electrical. Well, that doesn't seem. Okay. Right, you're definitely recording. Oh, yeah. All right. Now it's fine. Now we're still recording in night shot. Maybe something with the night shot when I turn it on or something. Ooh, no, that's ugly. Da. That looks pretty cool. Uh, it's like some weird, like the infrared reflection. That's fascinating. I've never seen it before. Anyway, so let's go down here. That was weird that it turned off again, though. Uh, maybe that was me just hitting my hand too fast. There is the very spooky food area. Mm. I bet they have some good stuff in there tomorrow. Make sure to get the chandelier. Oh, yeah. That's what the artist in residence likes a lot? Yeah. What's that? The but chandelier. The artist in residence today, and? Reggie. And he, they, they have a program with um, elementary school kids yeah. that are going to come visit the fister and um, see his artwork. Yeah. And he wants to take them up here and blindfold them and then lay them down under the chandelier and then have open eyes. All right, let's go into the back storage area again. You guys need to get my back. Just in case there's something weird. Oh. This would be the... All right. Come on, then. How's the EMF meeting? Same. I'll let you know if something happens. Okay. Here's the back. You can hear things knocking around in there. Just the pipes though. So nothing too weird. There's something weird. What? Oh, there's some flags. Flags. Oh yeah. That's kind of yellow. They bought, bought a flag. Okay, any weird EMF readings? No. Okay, I'm going to turn off and take a couple of still shots. Yeah, here's something too, but nothing weird. Okay, now is our little venture in the ballroom. We still haven't seen anything weird, but it might be this one of the scariest places because it's dark. Sure. All right, so here we are in the lovely Fister bedroom. There is Milwaukee Ghost herself curled up and sleepy. Now, Scott and I were up in blue, and we were discussing uh, with our server uh, if they uh, had seen any ghosts. And she said she didn't have any weird paranormal experiences herself, and she also said that it was the old uh, part of the hotel that was haunted, the new part wasn't haunted. And then when Scott mentioned that, he's like, hey, don't the baseball players stay in the new part? She goes, yeah, but it's the old part that's haunted. So, um, which pretty much means that she's either lying or doesn't believe it. And I'm not sure either one. Uh, we had some fun uh, in the main ballroom doing some EVP. And uh, that was a good time. So now it's time to go to bed. And tomorrow we take the official tour. So tomorrow we'll see you again. And... Uh, 
we'll be seeing <laughs> we'll be seeing uh, what the official tour has to offer and uh, also what the official word is on the hauntings. So, have a good night. Night all. Kisses. Here's the Empire Ballroom. We're upstairs now. Uh, this is the next morning. We had a, a lovely night of sleep. I didn't see We're anything. still alive. I didn't see anything weird. Uh, not yet. That's Mike. Yes. That Mike's pretty weird. <laughs> right. So now, uh, now it's Peter Mortensen, which is, he's the, um... Concierge coach. for 25 years of oh, the Fister. Fister. He's just taking us around a little bit, and we're going to look at a couple of things uh, and do one more run-through uh, before we go home and comb the footage. And as I mentioned, this was where, when you wanted fine dining, um, the, the Fern Room was, was, you know, one of the great legendary restaurants of that period. Um, this was a... And that's where this was. That this was the Fern Room. Um, uh, Lillian Russell. A uh, very, very famous actress, the, 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 the Diamond Lil, that uh, uh, was, I mean, just, uh, she, I mean, she was a, she was the Madonna of that period. Um, when she was on tour in uh, with a show in Milwaukee, and I want to say Christmas of 1895, um, actually did a private dinner for the whole company here in the front room for their Christmas. I like this floor. It's certainly opulent. The living room. What's that? Um, it's certainly an opulent room. floor. It's originally even. Yeah. a hallway. And that went out to the gentleman's balcony. Do you remember? I talked about the loggia yesterday. Yes, the loggia. Well, well in, uh, the structure is everything from Two through six eight below in the tower section. Oh, all right. And then we'll the uh, uh, presidential uh, suite. Those are all governors. Oh, governors of the state of Wisconsin, or just governors in general? Governors of the state of Wisconsin. Very good. Hey, Tony Earl, sweet bow tie. All right, and also in the presidential suites. Uh, every president since Truman stayed here. Uh, the only president who hasn't since, like, McKinley yes. is uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I made a joke about the Americans with Disabilities Act not being enforced then, uh, but actually they could accommodate people in wheelchairs, and uh, any caregiver or staff would stay in these rooms down there. That is a pretty sweet clock. Yeah, that's, uh, again, probably, and actually probably was part of the suite of furniture for the Rococo suite. Because it is a Rococo revival piece. It is original to the furnishings in the hotel. Hmm. And again, gives you an idea of the quality that went into furnishing this. This is what the Imperial Ballroom looked like when it was the fern room. Wow. You can see there's the minstrels gown, there's people sitting yeah. up there. And right over here is a young man named Ray Smith. Ray Smith was Charles Fister's paperboy. He, the family went into, had some reverses, and he had to quit school and go to work. Uh, a family friend was taking him around trying to find him positions. Uh, and happened to be in the Fister. Charles Fister came down and wanted to know what his paperboy was doing there instead of being in school. The, 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 the gentleman explained the situation and Charles Fister put him to work. Started out as a bellboy and that was in 1895. Eleven years later, by 1916, he was the general manager of the hotel. Uh, wow. Charles Fister essentially did what we would now call mentoring. That is, right. that he put him through a variety of different uh, positions. He, and what was his name? Ray Smith. Ray Smith. He, um, at the time of this event, he was working at the front desk. And he was given the signal honor of being the person to collect the invitations for this event. This was a very, very big event. This was, this was shot from the corner where where that big screen was in the Imperial Ballroom? Yeah. Interesting. 
You know, they just went up on a platform on a yeah, plane apparently. and shot across the room. This is Guido right here? Yep. And this is the adoptive father of Charles well, Fister. Well, this is, this, is, this is the father of Charles Fister, Charles and Louise. Thank well, you so much. This is probably the hospital, so. Yes, right. thank you so much. Now we are leaving the lovely Fister Hotel. There it is. Gorgeous building. There's the tower where we were that last night, uh, with blue on the top. And uh, we were on the second floor. I don't know if I can get a shot from here. Anyway, we had a great time here. Uh, in Milwaukee. Hold on. Yep. We had a great time here in Milwaukee at the Fister last night. We did not see anything weird, unfortunately, at least not yet. But we'll be looking over everything to see if we did. But, uh, alright. we caught any footage um, on the, this camera or uh, my other camera and night shot or uh, the audio that we captured. Yeah, so it was very cool and had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later.